Witnesses told us that President Trump's investigations were not in his official prepared talking points or briefing materials. To the contrary, they went against official policy and diverged from our national security interests. All three witnesses, Tim Morrison at the National Security Council, Lieutenant Colonel Alex Vindman at the Security Council, Jennifer Williams, who listened to the, July, the, the uh, July 25th call, testified that when President Trump demanded that President Zelensky investigate the Bidens, he had completely departed from the talking points that they had prepared for him. Now, before I get to the video clip, I just want to underscore this. He's not obligated to use his talking points. He's not obligated to follow the recommendations of his staff, no matter how sound they may be. But what this makes clear is, it wasn't US policy that he was conducting. It was his private personal interest that he was conducting. If it was US policy, it probably would have been in the talking points and briefing materials, but of course it was not. Let's look at Mr. Morrison's testimony on this point. Now, Mr. Morrison, were these references to CrowdStrike, the server, the 2016 election, uh, and to Vice President Biden and his son, were they included in the president's talking points? They were not. And here is Lieutenant Colonel Vindman on this point. Colonel Vindman, you um, are the National Security Council's director for Ukraine. Did you participate in preparing the talking points for the president's call? I did. I prepared them. So you prepared them. They were then reviewed and edited by multiple senior officers at the NSC and the White House. Is that correct? That is correct. Did the talking points for the president contain any discussion of investigations into the 2016 election, the Bidens, or Burisma? They did not. Are you aware of any written product from the National Security Council suggesting that investigations into the 2016 election, the Bidens, or Burisma are part of the official policy of the United States? No, I'm not. Dr. Hill also elaborated on this point. My point, uh, Mr. Nunes, is that we at the National Security Council were not told, either by the President directly or through Ambassador Bolton, that we were to be focused on these issues as a matter of U.S. foreign policy toward Ukraine. So when um, you're talking about um, Ukraine in 2016, I never personally heard the President uh, say anything specific about 2016 in Ukraine. I've seen him seeing something, plenty of things publicly, but I was not given a directive. In fact, I was given a directive on July 10th by Ambassador Bolton very clearly to stay out of domestic politics. So to be clear, when President Trump asked for these investigations, he was not asking for them based on an official U.S. policy. His top official advisors had not even been told about these investigations. To the contrary, they were told to stay out of U.S. politics. And it gets worse. It was not just that President Trump ignored official U.S. policy and the talking points he was given. It was that what he was doing withholding support from Ukraine was actually contrary to and harmful to U.S. policy.